Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, I found some good stuff and fall is hitting my stores. Not a whole lot, but enough. Uh, so let's get started in no particular order. Um, I bought a bucket. And what do I need this bucket, shall you say? Because these are my practice pickle balls. And when I go up to my tennis court, I put them in here and I carry them up. And then they're not rolling all over the place when I want to practice serving. So these are just some cheap practice balls that I got and I needed a bucket. So I grabbed that and that was $1.25. And everything will be $1.25 unless I tell you otherwise. And as I said, I'm no particular order. Oh, I got some green beans. <laughs> and I got some tuna. I made tuna for lunch tomorrow, and I thought I needed some green beans for later in the week. That's nothing of any excitement. However, you know, I show you all the things. Oh, and I got, I love when they come out with different flavors. This is hot chipotle. Pep, just peanuts. I'll take them to work and put them on my desk. All right, so I think that, well, that's not it. For food, for work. I'll just do all the food, right? Okay. So I grabbed to take to the office some drink mix. Cherry. Fruit punch. I love the red. And grape. I was running low at work, so I'll throw those in my lunch bag and my nuts to take to my office. I like to just leave snacks and drinks in my office at work. Okay, so that, oh, food-wise. And then the, I, they have these Willie's Sipping Broth. I've never seen this before. This is Delight Pho, Pho, I think is how you pronounce it. And these are just little packets. I'm going to open it and show you, but you get three in here now i will tell you the carbohydrates are very low the sodium is a little high but i think that's to be expected i will tell you what i like these for they're just a little packet i'm going to try them first just says add one steepable bra oh they come in a tea bag bag it's like a tea bag add one steepable bag Broth bag to eight ounces of boiling water. Let steep for four minutes. Stir, squeeze, and enjoy. I mean, what? That is awesome. I love these. And it also says keto friendly, gluten free, and plant based. I love these when I'm flying or traveling and I just want something hot and filling, but not really filling. Like, I don't want to feel something heavy. I love like a chicken broth or some type of a broth situation. And if these t are tasty, this would be fantastic. I do have an international flight coming up. Um, let me see the Best Buy date. I mean, I don't know that it goes bad. It's dehydrated vegetables. I don't think it does. So I did get two, so I'll have six. And I can always, on the airplane, I can always get um, hot water. So we'll try one and then put the rest away with my trip stuff. It's less, well, it's about a year away from now, but if I find more, I'll buy it. But I like to have those things. And I think that's it for food, I'm pretty sure. I don't have a lot today to share, um, but I did get some scunchy, scoomchy, scrunchy, scunchy brand. These are just the little hair elastics, the little tiny ones. And I have like fine hair, but I like to pull it up it's not fine. I have thinning hair. It's thick, it's thinning. And when my niece braids it for me, like when I ride my bike, these are good to have for the ends. So for my hair, this is enough of an elastic. And I liked that they came in their own little container. Again, if I go to work, I go to the gym, um, wherever I go, I can just pull out, oops. And these are th pretty thick you give them a good stretch 
and they're like just a little hair elastic and I they're great my little cousin had some when we were at Myrtle Beach and I borrowed some of hers I like when I'm swimming too especially or biking or doing something just to keep the front of my hair out and the big elastics are too much my alarm is going off if you hear it it's telling me that my hard-boiled eggs are running um I also I know I'm smelling them I'm sorry, what Dollar Tree? Scented crayons. What? They had Mike and Ike's Fruit Loops. I don't know what other scent. And they had them in the, the fat mark, the fat crayons for the littles. And they had them in these. And you get 30. I'm, I'm sure they're not the quality of Crayola, but they sure do smell good. I know. I will color with them eventually, but let's. I'm trying not to rip the box, but that's too late. Here, we're gonna take a purple on a receipt. I mean, I don't think they're bad. They're a little more waxy than a Crayola, but they smell good. Yeah, these are great. Let me go turn this timer off. Um, I'll keep these, I love coloring. Or I'll share them but they smell good. I'm sure the schools want Crayola and I get it because they're a better quality, but fun at home. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see, what else do I have up here on my desk or on the table? I'm sitting on my couch, but you probably can see that. I know. Okay. Yes, I still use plastic bags because I use it for my kitty litter. Um, they came out with some more of these little wooden pieces this has two or three but look at the colors for fall and then they had just some green but I still think these will be fun just to decorate and stuff and they're just clip chipboards little pieces of chipboard I love them I love crafting with um, wooden stuff gotta keep that okay they had these walk strainers it's not a dollar tree brand it's pretty stable here i don't have a walk um however i do have kitty litter and i was like oh that's nice and long to get in there and um here let's see if i can get this off so i can show you i'm just taking the um plastic off over here these are neat. Even the little ties, the little clippies that have it are like rubberized. So I can just pull it and put it through the little hole. There we go. Oh, I like this. Right? I know it's weird, but it'll strain good for me. And it's a long enough handle that my hand doesn't get anywhere near that litter pan. So I thought, ooh, perfect scooper. So I grabbed that because I needed a new scooper for the kitty litter. So we did that. Um, next up, I have, wait, but I want to show you that together. Oh, I grabbed some, we, I went to a picnic with the pop, but they had the 30 piece extra strong forks. And then I'm going to get the 30 piece extra strong spoon at Christmas where ha I'm hosting, um, my family, my brother and his wife are coming up from Myrtle Beach and Sarah and her boyfriend, his family is coming, I think, from West Virginia. Um, and we're gonna have a party, like just a get together for the holidays. And I thought, well, this is perfect. And these seem sturdy. So I start collecting stuff for that. Nothing of any excitement there. Um, okay, let's see. Perfect, perfect. Okay, for my crafting drawer, I have one of these at work and I love them. Um, I don't think these are new. I'm pretty sure they had them out last year as well, but I do have a set at work. But what I love, and this is, I think, is this Sterilite brand? No, there's a big container to put stuff in and then you get like, this size here is for pencils, right? And then these little ones, but if you see here, they snap in 
together. So they're in your drawer, right? And when you open and shut your drawer, they don't slide all over the place. There we go. I think they're supposed to mimic a Sterilite because I think mine are Sterilite, but come on. And then what's really cool is you can do them anyway, but these also have it on this side. So you could put the littles in the middle, but you have a whole drawer organization that you can put together, change around or do whatever you want. And they all kind of hold together and they nest, which is also fantastic. So for storage, if you got a kid going off to college or one of your young ones has, you know, a desk in their room. This is good organization stuff. Just to keep the little bits and bobs together, which even for crafters, I think these are fantastic because you can keep a drawer organized. And that's for me, like pens and needles and all that. It's going to keep it very well organized. Okay, two things left. Well, two topics left. Number one we're getting in some good children's books or young adult, although I don't know what age this is, but this is a book for regularly $18.99 and it's God's Heroes and Monsters Discover the Wonders of the Ancient Greek Mythology. Like what? But wait till you see the graphics in here. I mean, this is a fantastic book and there's not a lot of reading. I mean, I would definitely say if you have a younger child, you know, first, second grade, that you could help them read this. Um, but there's, it's just, there's the introduction, Land of Gods and Heroes, and it's just a great introduction to Greek mythology. And the pictures, the illustrations are fantastic in this book. But there's not a lot to digest. It just kind of goes over the different gods. And I love that for this book. And I think it's definitely something that would hold some attention for a younger kid. You know, gotta do what we gotta do. And then for the little littles, this said, Where's the Party by Ruth Chan. And this is just another one with super cute illustrations. And this is definitely more like a bedtime book for your littles. And this book, I don't know how much it was, $17.99. Like these are great books to start when, when the book, Dollar Tree gets in the books and you have littles, think about this. Um, if you have some younger readers and you find these books or young adult, I saw some like middle school age books as well, but do the 25 book advent, 25 books before Christmas and start buying them now at $1.25. That is a super cheap advent calendar. Um, and I, I think any child would enjoy and that's some great quality time too. Now, last and but not least, put my kitty litter stuff together. Fall has arrived, friends. Fall has fully arrived at the Dollar Tree. I showed you some stuff on my last video from the plus section and it was Halloween and they had a little bit of fall, but not all my stores. This is in the Dollar Tree section and I am here for it. I am living for this stuff. So first of all, and this is all brand new this season. So I'm super excited to see what the holidays have in store. So the first thing I found were these little signs and they're definitely for your kitchen because they look like rolling pins. I don't know why everything has to have a bow. I, I don't get it, but probably I will rip the raffia off and maybe put a regular bow. But this one says, hello, pumpkin, tiered trays, guys. And then this one says falling leaves, which this could stay out. You know, they could stay out all fall. You could stack them together, offset them. I mean, you could totally remove this if you didn't want, but, but I think these are gonna be fantastic for my um, kitchen. I have shelves in my kitchen. So we got these, these were the only two I saw, and there may be more. These are part of the, the, fall, the fall line. Then they had this, I'm dying. I, there's nothing about this I don't love. First of all, it's an acorn. It says thankful. It's this faux leather. 
with little gold pins. Like what? I don't, there's nothing about this I wanna change other than I'm just putting it out for the fall. And to go with it, grateful. What? Same thing, this faux leather with the little um, brads, the tacks that are actually, I mean, the, it is glued on. If you wanted these little signs off, absolutely you could get them off, sand it down and do whatever you want. I'm trying to get my thumbnail. Might be a little oversaturated with the sun coming in. But this one feels kind of rough and definitely whitewashed. And this is just natural raw wood. Now, like, it could use a little sanding here where they cut it. Take a nail file. Guys, I'm dying with all this fall. And these, the, these don't, this one doesn't have the fall sign on the back, nor does that. And see what I'm talking about? This is definitely in the fall line. That is not. I mean, it, it is out with fall, but it doesn't have the same branding on it. And then the, this one here, I'm definitely doing something with. But I'm sorry, what? Pumpkin Punch? They had one that said apple cider and another one, mold wine. But I just liked this one. But again, you could totally strip this down. This is a three-day chip, 3D chip wood, but the rest of it is a sticker on the front. I mean, literally just turn it around. Take your heat gun to get these off and you can go to town and make these anything you want, including Halloween potion bottles. Think about that. Put, take this, all this mess off and paint it and then get like print off a vintage poison sign and you can make your set an entire self an entire set now the only sad thing is they're all the same shape but you can make you can mix and match and make a poison bottle for halloween or whatever i think that is adorable for my coffee bar and the last thing oh this is everything for me because i love football i am going to find some type of a block o because that's oh, sorry i have an itch some type of an Ohio State sticker to put on here. Maybe something up, take this weird, I don't understand this green thing. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't get the green thing. <laughs> but whatever, I'm gonna do something. I might even put like a Buckeye. Ooh, I could glue a Buckeye. If you know, you know. Take this thing and put a Buckeye here. That's probably what I'll do. I want it to be Ohio State. I could even write like Ohio State or something, Ohio State, whatever. Um, again, turn it around and it's a pumpkin. If, if you're not, if you're not a football person, stick. I mean, this is solid guys. I'm a football person, but if you're not, it's now a pumpkin, a gourd. You can get them in different sizes and make a trio. I mean, the possibilities are endless for $1.25 is what I'm trying to say. Got it? And that is it. That is everything I have this week from the Dollar Tree. I hope you've been enjoying the little vlogs of my summer antics going on. Um, I think I have one more. I went to the book festival today, the very first in Columbus. I'm so excited. So um, in, fall, in the fall, September, I go to the coffee festival and that is at Ohio Historical Village. There's a coffee festival and you buy a ticket to get into that and you get samples of coffee all day. We do that in the fall. And then they had a wine festival for two weekends in a row. And you went around. I don't know if you had to buy a ticket to the wine festival. I was out of town. But yesterday and today, it was totally free to get in. And it was at our public library, the main public library, downtown Columbus. They just finished multi-million dollar renovation to the building. And it's fantastic. Um, and in the back of it, they have like a topiary garden and they did a, a book festival with independent authors were there. Um, I have, I have some footage from that and I want to show you what I bought. So I'll do another video for that. But yeah, they had all kinds of vendors. So they had authors selling their books. They had, um, the friends of the library sells, um, they have sales all the time of older books that they are selling to raise money for the library. 
they were they had a whole tent outside and then they had all kinds of like just book theme vendors and then there was a whole section of food trucks it was so exciting so i took some footage from that and then i will do a little what i bought and talk to you about it on another video i know exciting it's been a busy summer for me i went on a 20 mile bike ride yesterday in the morning and then i went downtown columbus for another picnic with the pops last night it was abba it was everything i ever thought it would be and more um it was a band from sweden that sound just like abba it was great all right guys with that oh lies i have one more thing and this is a halloween dealy and i don't know if this is an led shadow projector so it needs batteries, which I don't have right now, but there's little, you can, I don't know if you'll see in there. Oh, you can see that. The little things, and I believe the light shines around and shoots Halloween shadows. So it's like a little witch and some pumpkins and ghosts. How fun would that be for a Halloween nightlight in your kid's room or your room? Or put it in the bathroom and just let it go. Um, it does take three AAA batteries, which I don't have currently, but I think this was so fun. And this was also $1.25. They just had a little tiny bit of Halloween out at the store I was at, but that's exciting as well. Okay, now that is everything that I have. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.